Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a tuna pizza with onion and spinach. I don't know what inspired me to do this one. We've done tuna pizzas before, but I just figured that combination might sound quite nice. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, we're also going to uh, give a try of making more sauces in our sauce series, because last week obviously, last time you watched video with sauces, we made three sauces for dipping in crust, mm -hmm. and they were nice actually, so I'm going to give some more a go. Just we use them for the tortilla that you made too, our uh, dips for yeah. crisps. Yeah, we made, and we made, used one of them for a pizza as well, didn't we? The, the aubergine yeah. and garlic pizza, so yeah, those sauces come in handy for loads of things, so uh, yeah, so we'll be making more of them. For now, we're making our tuna, spinach and onion pizza, and I think it's going to be really nice. So we're just getting some fordalati on here, we've got some vegetarian hard cheese as well on there. Uh, next up, we're going to have the tuna and then some spinach. So here comes the tuna. Now I find we've eaten a lot of restaurants that do tuna pizzas, and none of them are up to scratch with our tuna pizza, are they, Lisa? No, definitely not. A lot of the time... Well, I don't eat, I don't eat other people's pizzas. Yeah, a lot of the time when people make tuna pizzas, they come out quite soggy, I find. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how they manage that one. But our tuna pizzas are not soggy. So we're proud of that. We're proud of that fact. So almost forgot the onion, you know. Right, we've got our spinach on there. A little bit more, it will wilt down probably. And right, so just some onion next, if I can find it. Go. Oh, I forgot about the onion. Essential ingredient. They're strong. They are strong. They have been sitting for a while because I cut them though. So and there's the onion. A few of them. That'll probably do it. And so into the oven it's going to go. And we'll see what it tastes like. But it's looking good so far. It's looking good. I got all that mess of some more flying everywhere when I do that. I thought that was like magic dust or something then. <laughs> magic pizza dust. <laughs> right, are we ready? Let's yeah. get it in the oven then. The oven temperature is currently at 435. So it's a nice temperature in there. So. We'll try and poke it around, get a bit of a flame, and then we'll cook. On to our eat and tweet, like and subscribe board. And there's our tuna, and spinach, and onion pizza, and it looks delicious. So I can't wait to try it, so let's not waste any time, let's try it. Okay, let's try the pizza. Tuna, onion, spinach. Mmm, delicious. We've got nice freshness of the spinach, crunchiness of the onion, a tuna. It's not soggy whatsoever, it's cooked perfectly, it's crispy, it's, there's no sogginess to this at all. No soggy bottom. So, Italian pizza restaurants or Italian pizza restaurants are probably not proper Italians. Stop making soggy tuna pizzas. This is how you do it, it's delicious. So, yeah. Scottish. Scottish pizza. tuna. <laughs> onion <laughs> spinach pizza. It's delicious. So give it a try. Like, subscribe, check out the book. See you next time. Bye. Bye.